السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام نايس تو بي شيخ نظام الدين نظام الدين اي ونت تو سي يو ما شاء الله يو ار ذا موست هابي وان هير يو جيف مي فيري هابينس جيف هيم بليس جيف هيم بليس ها ذس فور نظام الدين <laughs> German people, very serious people. I cannot cooperate with them, you know. I have to have uh, Italian. Uh, they change a lot, mashallah. They become Italian. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. I see all German group laughing, mashallah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. This is good tiding. Alhamdulillah. Mashallah. It's a lovely weather. Alhamdulillah. It is give us uh, beauty and Alhamdulillah give us good spirit, mashallah. And feel we are very high. Allah. Alhamdulillah, high. Yeah. <laughs> very high. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, this is uh, baraka of our German brothers here. They are keep asking and they are heart, mashallah, is like hoover machine. Ooh, one more. Come on, give more. <laughs> so that's why I cannot run, you know. <laughs> Subhanallah. I thought it's because the Arab people, but Arab people are sleeping. <laughs> the German people there, mashallah. Very well done everything, alhamdulillah. Even dunya things, even akhira things, and mashallah, Allah Almighty give this nation some kind of uh, to complete the beginning. When they start for something, they go until the end. They never stop. Mashallah, mashallah. And that's why with their baraka, I'm sitting here uh, to complete few sohba, but it is not like uh, if you ask me, I will the one first to run away. But because of them, mashallah, they hold me here. And Sheikh Nizamuddin, he make me to be happy people. <laughs> so that's why I'm, I, I like him to be in front of me so he can give me the happiness, mashallah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. And to be high. <laughs> mashallah, today we, we began also with the happy side. Alhamdulillah. Um, I, I, Maulana Sheikh, he was keeping saying, beware of your ego, and everyone fed up. Yeah, Sheikh, you're talking about the ego so much. And now I say, be happy, be happy, and everyone say, oh, come on, you don't have anything else to say? <laughs> <laughs> but this one, I can roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, so it will be okay, inshallah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, today I was looking for the trees. Now they start to refresh. And this give me good tidings of Maulana Sheikh. Alhamdulillah, he's refreshing again. Alhamdulillah. And when he was looking for the green, he said, Alhamdulillah, now I feel myself coming greenery and more greenery and more greenery. So we'll be green inside and outside. Amen. Alhamdulillah. So that's mean the life been given back. Alhamdulillah. And this good tidings for all of us. Yesterday I was uh, with him and he was saying, Alhamdulillah. Yesterday I see the maqam of Rasulullah in the TV. And with that love for Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I stand up. And he was standing up. And sitting and say, I look again and I stand up. And again, and I stand up. And Alhamdulillah, I say, with this standing, being given power of Rasulullah to keep continue my duty and to keep continue to see Mahdi alayhi salam, inshallah. Amen. And he say, I'm hoping that the Shifa will come from Rasulullah and I will be released from all this medication and I will be, inshallah, free man. 
to come and to be with you, inshallah. So this is one of the good tidings that Maulana Sheikh, he already uh, give us, alhamdulillah. So I share with my brother here. And I think Maulana Sheikh, he was purposely telling me this to tell you. So I tell him, I make your, uh, your children here, your, uh, my brother, to laugh. Say, huh, what you talk about? So I talk about air, I talk about <laughs> birds, I talk about cows, and they start to laugh. Say, ajaib. <laughs> <laughs> Strange, how can be? You are a serious man. <laughs> Say, no, no, you mix up, mix up with my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Alhamdulillah, Sheikh Mehmed Afendi, he is the one that having all this, uh, the serious knowledge. Eat less, drink less, sleep less, and talk less. I am the opposite. Eat more, sleep more, <laughs> talk more. <laughs> Love more. <laughs> but I don't know where is this tariqa will go after that. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, if we are happy with this side, okay. We are happy with this side, it's okay. We are happy with the other side, also okay. The most important to find the suiting dress. What is the one is suit you? This is you dress. Maulana Sheikh, he was during his teaching, you know very good that he was putting in the sohba and sense of humor that everyone to be waking up and catch the wisdom. So that was one of the things that he was uh, very uh, professional, let's say, in this uh, giving lectures and speech. So one day it was uh, one conference in the Greek side when the door opened, they've been inviting for religion, how the religion to be cooperated and it was organized by the church in the Greek side. I will go short. It is uh, just to show how Maulana he was uh, doing his lecture. So when we enter there, they take Maulana for the first chair next to the president, the, the, uh, the priest, and all the cardinals from all over the world. And my father was, we've been behind. And I was watching how is going the speech? So first the president, the others, and finally uh, so many uh, of guests, they've been giving speech. And I was looking and there was one man next to me, he was saying, wow, what a, what a knowledge these people having. No, they are really, you know, they know what to say and they know what they are talking about. I say, and my father's speech, it was the end of the list <laughs> the last one <laughs> the last one so when my father he went for speak even they say the sheikh maybe he's, he didn't attempt for this meeting so we are closing the meeting so one of the priests he fall in love with Maulana sheikh his, his name is Isaiah he very good friend of us Big, huge person. He entered the stage and said, No, 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 the Sheikh is here coming like this. You know, big man. So, and the man said, Oh, okay, please, please. And Maulana Sheikh, he came for the stage and he looked. And uh, this, in the stage, there was four attenders there presenting the meeting. And Maulana Sheikh, he looked at them. And he start to speak. And he say in Greek language, Galisperasas. And you know, the people, they've been looking at him like this. And it was like quiet. There's no noise. And when Maulana Sheikh, 
good afternoon in, in, in uh, their language, they've been, wow, they start to clump and the, you know, they're all going up and down. All the people. And then he say, I thought I'm coming for the religious meeting, but all the speech, it was about economy, Europe, economy, economy, crisis, Europe, money, economy, economy. I say, I think that I came for the wrong address. And again, you see the people clumping. Yeah! Yeah! True! Yeah! Subhanallah! So, how can be? And then he, he start to continue. And from this people, one of them, he write a paper and he send it to Maulana Sheikh. And Maulana Sheikh, he was about to continue to speak and the paper coming in front of him. I say, what is this? He look. Say, yes, we understand. We are in hack. We are on right. Look, five minutes to speak only. <laughs> and he look for the guy. Say, if you don't like to hear, you can go home. These people, they are listening. They are waiting to listen. And you see all the stage also going up and down, up and down. And the man, he was like, say, that pretend to not understand. <laughs> this is Maulana Sheikh. This is, he was, he is, and still a lion. He control, Alhamdulillah. And I'm, why I'm saying this story? Because to let you know that Maulana Sheikh, even he's upstairs, we don't see him. But he is really in control. He is really in control. There is no job. Alhamdulillah. His heart, his mind, his feeling, and his power, fully power. Fully. Alhamdulillah. For this, I want to, to say this is a small story about how Maulana Sheikh, he was in haq, in right all the time. And he was no fear from anybody when he is with the right, when he is in right, and when he is dressing the right, nobody can stand in front of him. MashaAllah, I am congratulating you by following Maulana Sheikh, by dressing his sunnah, by dressing his, you show yourself as a right, even in 70 million or 80 million German, you are few, but you can say Maulana Sheikh, he was here. And in England, you can say, in Iran, you can say, in anywhere in the world, you can say, Maulana Sheikh, he was here. This is Maulana Sheikh. Alhamdulillah. So this is very, very good things that Maulana Sheikh, he give us as a gift. Alhamdulillah. He make us to know the right. He make us to dress the right. Alhamdulillah. This is today the serious part of the sohba of Maulana Sheikh. Sheikh Nizam al and I wanted to say another small story from my childhood when I was uh, uh, no, she can this more Shagil or Maulana Sheikh Abdullah. His apprentice. No, anyhow, I was with Maulana Sheikh Abdullah every day, every morning. I was going to him. This is my first job. Wake up. My mother telling me, did you pray subuh? Mm, mm, no. Okay. Go and pray subuh. So I go, pray. And then we used to have chicken upstairs in my, our house. So the chicken will give fresh egg. So I was waiting in the chicken to give the egg. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Hurry up, chicken! <laughs> when the chicken start to wake, <laughs> so I understand it's giving the egg. Immediately run and get the egg, and shoo, running to Grand Sheikh Maulana Sheikh Abdullah with the fresh egg. 
I give it to him very proud. I bring you the egg. Put the glasses. <laughs> Taking his wallet and all. This is the iron money. The, look, this is 10 kurush. That's mean uh, very little. That's not too much, but it's enough for me. Alba <laughs> Kalam. I take it very happy, very happy boy. Choo! Not standing at all. Choo! Going for investment. <laughs> I'm running to invest this money. It's very important. And it was, I think he passed away, must be passed away, this man also. Old man, he was named Abu Rajab. And he is selling full uh, beans. beans. This is in Damascus, it's very famous. They boil the beans and you, it is like uh, national food. So his table, it was from uh, wood bringing from the dustbin and he make it as a table and his sitting, it was uh, also from wooden bean not really good one and he was uh, putting uh, like this very small like maybe 10 pieces of beans and very happy i give him the money immediately give me the beans and his hand it was like this he was uh, and he was wearing black dress maybe it was like 20 years on him <laughs> uh, and I am very happy to sit there and eat the beans. And everyone knows that when I get this money from Grand Sheikh and I go and invest with Abu Rajab. <laughs> and in my thinking, when I was a kid, I think this man is the richest man in the world for me. Why? Because he's taking all my money. <laughs> <laughs> this is he taking all my money and imagine how is the looking of a small child for somebody he's taking his money and he doesn't look for the real picture of it and he think that this man is the most rich man in his eyes so that's why Maulana Sheikh is trying to growing us to not look with the children's eyes he wants us to look with the adult eyes to know what is the behind and what is the real picture. Because the child, he see that he got the coins, he give it, he got what he want. But this man is the richest man for him. Because you are a child. You look with the childish eyes. And then one day, I was going to Grand Sheikh again with the egg to get my investment and my mother she was in Grand Sheikh present and the Grand Sheikh he was sitting in his bed and we, I entered from this side kissing his hand giving the egg and he take the egg and he decided to ask me a question I am not for question. <laughs> but he said, why you kiss my hand? For Allah or for money? Of course, the child will always say. Yeah. Money. Uh, but my mother interfered. Yes. Say, for Allah, for Allah. <laughs> I look for my mother say, for Allah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the Grand Sheikh tell me? Go, Allah give you. <laughs> Go, Allah give you. <laughs> Allah give me so I went out 
Investment waiting. <laughs> come back again immediately. Like you turn and come back with decision that I will say what I want to say. I kiss Grand Sheikh hand again. And the Grand Sheikh also want again ask me the same question. Say, you kiss my hand for Allah or for money? Again, my mother interfere. For Allah, for Allah. <laughs> for money. Okay, you get your money. Take the wallet again. Looking for the smallest piece and been given. <laughs> I take the money very happy. <laughs> I went for the investment. He was waiting for me to invest with him. <laughs> so I was good client. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> but if I was looking with the adult eyes was grown person, so it will be say no i will be i kiss your hand for allah and for the money <laughs> that's why i think i got the both side alhamdulillah because my mother she got me the first answer say for allah and i listen to her Alhamdulillah, and this is her favor on me. And for money also, Maulana Sheikh, he grant me <laughs> the money side. So, Alhamdulillah. So, we are going with the boss side. Otherwise, if she leave me alone, I will say for money. So, you will never see me here. <laughs> <laughs> So now I have to go and work also. <laughs> but this Grand Sheikh Baraka, that it is uh, open up some doors for me to speak from air, speak from uh, birds, speak from flowers and we have fun here and we have some kind of laughing and get some happiness inside us and alhamdulillah i am i am also happy that you you ask me so much because if you don't ask this will never come this will never come i have this experience with tahir uh, he's in america Wherever I sit with him, he was so strange. Subhanallah. We, when we've been in America with my father traveling, he was sitting next to me in the plane. So we have like three hours flight between the states. And he was sitting next to me. And three hours, I was telling him things I never heard. And he was looking at me and say, Tahi, you are a strange person. Say, why? Say, wherever I sit with you, what time I sit with you, you keep taking so many sohba that I don't know. So subhanallah. So that's why I know if the jama'ah, they are really want something, it's come. It is not me. I am only stone sitting here. It is the jama'ah, mashallah, that they are love and they are trying to get more and more. And alhamdulillah, this it will be distributed for others and our mission to make the people happy because Maulana Sheikh is saying my mission is to not enter the paradise without bringing whole Ummah. This is my intention. He said I don't want to leave any single person for Shaitan. To make Allah Almighty proud of me, to make the Prophet proud of me, but I know they will do more. But my intention also to take everyone for paradise. This is the real humanity. This is the real 
Allah Almighty uh, good manners that Allah Almighty he dress it for Mawlana Sheikh and we are trying to get some of this his dust of manners Alhamdulillah so it's more than enough that also remind me with another story today I will be a little bit late but I'll tell you this one <laughs> Musa alayhi salam he was going to speak with Allah Almighty by the way going one of his people say Ya Rasulallah Ya Musa can you ask from Allah Almighty to give me from his love to be in his love say okay you don't want anything else no so it's like postman you want anything I'm going for market <laughs> <laughs> you want anything vegetable from Allah Almighty anything so, no only love <laughs> okay he went and he make his talking with Allah Almighty he was going out and Allah Almighty remind him he was forgotten because <laughs> of tajalli of Allah Almighty imagine <laughs> who cares <laughs> He said, there is one of my servants, he was asking you something, Ya Musa. Oh, I forgot. Astaghfirullah. <laughs> what he asked? Allah doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, uh, you have to make in and out. So it is conversation. So Allah Almighty, he respect the servant. Subhanallah. He want him to ask. Even he know, he want you to ask. So that's why it's the dua is very important to get your bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> he say, he ask from you a love, Ya Rabbi. He say, okay, you know this dust that you will see in the, when the sun coming, you see small, small, small dust. Say yes. This, he say, I will cut it for hundred piece. And one of this hundred piece, I will grant it for this servant. Thank you, Ya Rabbi. Alhamdulillah. Thank you. And he went and he wanted to tell this servant that your dua been accepted. And he ran for him. And he was like this. Hey, 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 you know, Allah Almighty accepted your grant. He accepted your dua. Hitch, nothing, nothing. Go on. Go on, he's high. <laughs> <laughs> and Allah Almighty addressing to Musa alayhi salam. Leave him. He will never hear you. This is his up and up and up you never can imagine so that's why even we are hundred of Maulana Sheikh humanity one of this whew, we are very good <laughs> we will be very high <laughs> inshallah wa Allah tawfiq bi hurmatil fatiha Hi, people. <laughs>